Hi, I'm Susan Delator. I am the owner of Naples Spaghetti House. I've been working here since 1980, but it's been in my family's, my husband's family business since 1923. My husband's grandparents, Antonio and Christine Delator, they uh, started working here after my <laughs> the grandfather lost one of his eyes working in the mill and he, they decided to open a restaurant. So introduce yourself. My name's Tim Delator. And who are you? What do you do at Naples? Uh, what do I do at Naples? Uh, I manage the business, day-to-day uh, -day functions. Uh, I don't know. Well, let's get a better question than that. You know, I'd like to spend time with my grandparents, and you know, it was completely different back then. This this side room wasn't even here. My, this wasn't put in until the mid '80s, which when I was still in high school. So, but as a child, I used to come down here and play in the backyard, play in the alleys, and help my grandparents, my dad, with the uh, unloading of the trucks and pushing stuff down the alley and. Yeah, it was a completely different back then, so a lot smaller business and uh, we've grown over the years. So that'd be my that'd be probably my greatest memory is my grandparents. Yeah. <laughs> my name's Lisa Delator. I am the part of the fourth generation of the Delator family that runs Naples Spaghetti House. Okay. <clears throat> What's the question? <laughs> My name is Samantha Susan Simmons. I'm named after my grandmother, the owner of Naples. Um, my position at Naples, um, I do a little bit of everything. I'd say I'm the main person up front dealing with to-go's, carry-outs, people coming in to eat, the register. Uh, I am uh, the main cook. I'm also a hostess on some weekdays and weekends. I'm a waitress. Uh, I'm a manager. Sometimes I'll be in the back, just everywhere, really. I'm an all-around person. Uh, but I'll do anything, dishes, bathrooms, whatever it takes to keep Naples running. <laughs> uh, when my dad, unfortunately, passed at a young age, my mom had it, and then uh, that's when I started to help her full-time. And then uh, my brother Tim entered a couple uh, about 10 years ago. So, uh, and now we have... Um, our fifth generation, Sam and Anthony, working here. So it's just, um, it's a proud tradition and uh, we're very proud of our restaurant. It's our customers that keep coming back that keep us going. We have really great people and just as many generations that have worked here, we have customers uh, that have generations who of their family members who have ate here. So when our logo is like, our family wants to serve your family, it, it, it really is true about Naples Spaghetti House. Challenges are keeping good health, which I have managed to keep many of my, my servers, my cooks, for many, many years. I have many employees that were here for 30 years or more. Keeping up, maintaining the building, uh, keeping employees happy. Uh, there's a lot of things that go into it. It's not easy. Well, you'll find out here in a little bit. We get very busy, and you know, I think people just like having the, some history left in the studio. You know, because I hear people got engaged here. You know, they had their prom, first prom date here. You know, they have their reunions here. They have, you know, there's, there's just a lot of things about 
what we provide here for the community that well, good memories for a lot of people. You know what I'm saying? I'm Jared. <laughs> I'm uh, Aunt Sue's nephew, and I worked here from 2000 to 2002, even though it's hard to tell. <laughs> Hi, I'm Kelsey Ray, also known as K Ray. <laughs> I worked here from probably 2011 to like 2012, 2013. Working here was like such good memories, such crazy stories, but also like so many laughs. Um, we did like Thanksgiving here a couple times. Um, I bartended, you know, like all through college and after, and I think it really gave me the skills in dealing with people because there's nobody I can't deal with after working here. <laughs> And then when I worked here, it was just such a great atmosphere. It's wonderful to work with your family. Been here my whole life. Um, I do remember coming down in my Halloween costume uh, for my first birthday as a ladybug. <laughs> Another core memory I always hold, special to my heart, is um, outside we have like a handicap ramp, and it is. Um, has our logo behind us, so I, we, my family has a million of pictures. My all my cousins are in it. We just all are lined up on this little ramp outside, and just everybody's in the picture. And that's just what I always remember is my family getting together down here when we were younger. I am Susan Delator, Aunt Sue's niece. It's her brother, my dad, Jim. <laughs> I've been coming here since I was little. He used to bring me here all the time. I'd sit at the counter and get chocolate milk. My favorite part of the experience was the treasure chest that used to be in the front. And um, everybody that works here, most of them have been here forever and they're part of our family. They've seen me grow up. And it was just such an uh, important time in my life around like 19, you know, it was a good. We try to stick to the same game plan. Um, we kind of have a it's not broke, don't fix it attitude, but we care about our customers, we care about our employees, we care about um, serving a great product. Families have come here for years and, and their, their grandkids come, their, everybody comes back to town. They, people move away from Steubenville a lot, but anytime they come back to town, they have to come to Naples. As, we're a staple here. <laughs> Been here 97 years. Um, a lot of people come here and share memories with us, and you know that that contributes to the community. You know, like they have fond memories of being in Naples. What would you like to see the future of Naples look like? Uh, well, my goal has always been to make sure I get to the 100 year anniversary. Um, I don't know. I, Around us, we're very fortunate. Our, the community comes here. Um, I see it thriving for uh, maybe a couple more generations. Um, I, I, I don't have any intentions of moving it. I love downtown Stephenville. I think we're perfectly located. Um, and it wouldn't be the same anywhere else.